Hello, Dark Heart. It's Rachel the Love Witch. Ooh, that was terrible. <laughs> might edit that out. <clears throat> or you might just see that. Um, I thought I would do a different angle for you for opening the second, well, this is the third, but the second one I've gotten of the Antipodean Witch Box. Um, I thought I would film a different angle so that you could see more of my altar. I lit a candle for you and for me. Um, I have some incense going. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's happening. Um, yeah, sort of do a different angle so you can see more like what I'm seeing. It's not exactly what I'm seeing. I can't figure out that one until I get a proper tripod. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoy. Let's have a relaxing time opening this baby. It is just bursting with goodies for me. It has been killing me waiting for this since I got the email because I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I saw a little hint that there might be lots of purple in here online. Thank you for no one spoiling it that I've seen online because I wanted to be one of the very first to get this. Um, but I was not, but that's all right. Um, and I did kind of want to be one of the first and I realized, oh, if I was, I would have put up my video with a picture of the contents and I might have really spoiled it for people over in Perth and such who are going to be waiting um, a bit longer than me to get this. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm just not really concentrating on doing this very well. Mm, I can smell it. I can smell the popcorn. I love it. Oh, I can see things. Oh, I see. I see pink. Mm, thank you for that person online who gave me, <laughs> gave us a clue that was a little bit off. I love that. Maybe they weren't trying to give a clue, but people were like, is it purple? Because they, their status had like a purple background on Facebook. I was like, is that a clue? Is that like, I mean, it's purple and I took it as a clue. So it's the end of a long day. I've got this just before I left the house and I've been out for ages in the city enjoying love and life and um, I feel like that is contributing to how... I'm sorry, there's so much anticipation for you and for me. I smell the popcorn. Let's just tear into it. I'm not waiting anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> no, if I tear at this too much, I just feel like I'm disrespecting this box. <clears throat> Ooh, I think this is love related. Well, I am the love witch, so how perfect. Oh my god, this is packaged very well. And I'm just struggling. <gasps> okay, okay, let's put that there so without burning anything. <gasps> oh my god, the pink moon. <gasps> and it's for the October moon, which my birthday is in the October period. <gasps> Pink moon. Oh my god. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, I won't. Oh, passion. Passion well, darling. Love it. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to read it. Not going to read it. Except for... Ooh. Culminating with Beltane at the cross quarters of spring and summer. Nature is its full exuberant beauty. Oh, give it to me now. I'm so looking forward to all that. Um, okay, I won't read the rest because we just want to get into this. Ooh, we have deities on the back associated with this moon and this time. And rose petal jam. Fuck me up. I want that. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> the pink things. I said I wanted more spring and I'm getting it. I can't not look at this. Oh my god. Whoa, oh, this is amazing. This reminds me of like um, English traditions, just for some reason. I can't explain it. Oh, that's amazing. I want to read about how I would use this. Oh, lovely pink candles. Oh my god. I always use a lot of pink candles and red in my work. So thank you. And they will look beautiful right over here. <gasps> oh, there's so much. I want to eat some. Oh, the popcorn even has pink on it. Look, can I show that to you? Mm. See that? Can you see it? Oh, that one was spit sour. Mm, it doesn't have a flavor I expected, but you're probably not meant to eat this. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, oh god. Oh, catnip. 
Oh, I'm so into this. Mmm. It says, it's got all these cute names for it. It says, planet, Venus, element, water, attributes, passion, love, calmness, and beauty. Let's smell it. Mmm, mm, smells exactly like I would expect. Grassy and lovely. Mmm. Oh, lemon scented tea tree. Oh my god, beautiful. The Australian influence. Planet Venus, perfect. Element water, yes. Perfect. Smell it. Mmm. I can definitely smell something. It's quite intriguing. Ooh. Rosebud. Oh, yes. I can always use more of these in my life. Mmm. Passion, love, psychic powers, healing. Yes, I use these a lot in my work, of course. Oh, my God. Leopard Jasper. Oh, my God. See, that's gorgeous. It's nothing. I love it. I love getting stones that I probably wouldn't have found myself or necessarily considered. Just because sometimes I can be so set on my particular path. <gasps> oh my god, it feels incredible. Oh my god. I'm trying to let this focus better. Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. It goes so well with the pink. <gasps> see more beauties i'm into this what is um leopard jasper attributes passion oh shamanism protection and healing oh yes wonderful wonderful so relevant <gasps> cracked carnelian oh i got a carnelian in um one of my recent uh crystal hauls i'm very into carnelian <gasps> oh wow it's like kind of orange I thought it was sort of pink, but I think that's more just the light. <gasps> wow. No, there is some pink in there. I'm just looking at it in the light. Oh, wow. I've never seen one like that. Cracked Carnelian attributes passion, transformation, honesty, love, and devotion. Planet the sun, element fire, of course, yes. Mmm. <gasps> Beauties. Oh, rose quartz. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I always need more of this in my life. I love it tumbled and I love it raw. Oh, thank you. Always need more of this. Oh, it's so clean. It's so cleansed. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, of course, yeah, protection, love, Venus, all of that stuff. Oh, wow. This is like the other one, the Ostara Stone is this this is gorgeous it's purple so it makes me think of amethyst but doesn't really look like amethyst it may be a glass stone oh, i'm so interested to read about this oh my god yes look at this it's a rose court crescent moon rose quartz i should say oh i love it this is so pastel goth i'm gonna put this on now even though I'm wearing yellow. I'm sorry, you can't exactly see me doing it. Let me see if I can be more, slightly more in frame. Oh, yes. Self-love. Love. love so many things at the moment. Yes, love me. Oh, thank you. Antipodean witch box. This is lovely. Oh, I love jewelry. I see something else in here. Something like a key. Ooh, oh my god, it's nice. I'm really interested to read about this and how it pertains to this. Reminds me of weddings and very important kind of like ceremonies and transition times. That's beautiful. Love it. The care and attention into all these details is just lovely. Mmm, oh, thank you, witches. Thank you, consecrated sugar and salt scrub. I've never used a sugar and salt scrub. <gasps> oh, it says handcrafted from organic sugar, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals and wildflower oils. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. Because I, I used all up the, um, the other one because I couldn't waste it. Um, and, oh, I just loved it. Mmm. Mmm. 
I wish I had it. I don't, can't really smell a lot. I can smell more the, um, <laughs> the popcorn right now. But I know that is temporary. I'll be really, I'm sure this will smell incredible in the bath. It's like a good helping too. I need like a beautiful jar to put this in. <gasps> oh, the pink is so lovely. <gasps> this is phenomenal. Oh my God, this is delightful. What is this? Ooh. I think, unless this is like a different blend, this I imagine is, it looks a wee bit different, but it might be the same. I want to read about that. Mm. I love this. Does this pertain to like other pieces in here? Ooh, oh my God, this is so May Day. This is so May Day. I knew I was thinking about English traditions for a reason. Oh my god, what the hell? This is like <gasps> a tiny little script or something inside this? <gasps> I have to look at it. I hope this is not the wrong thing to do. No, surely not. <gasps> oh my god. It's in a capsule. Just put that down there. It's got a tiny little ring, like in jewellery making. Better put that somewhere important. Oh, there's nothing on there. So you must like write a wish or something on here. And then this will be part of like a ceremony. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I'm going to put this back together and put this somewhere very important. I'll put it in the pail. This all is like part of a, this is all part of a ceremony. Definitely. Oh, not too close to the fire. I'm so intrigued. Oh, little bow. Okay, hold on to that. <gasps> really pink incense. Yes. Mm. Musky a bit. Oh, look at that colour. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so spring. Thank you for the passion. Thank you for the passion. Oh, if I wasn't already burning some, I want to try this out. Ooh. Oh. God, everything looks phenomenal down here. The business card, of course. Oh, that was for the necklace. Mmm. The lovelies. Oh, I'm so, I love this affirmation. Passion. Looks very floral, like lotus flower. Very yoni-ish. I love that too. Um, I embrace and honour the passion within me. I celebrate its power and revel in the pleasure of living. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, witches, you don't know how to enjoy the body and what an antidote that is. Oh, that should be it, I imagine. Oh, <clears throat> what's this? Nope, just all of them. Lovely. Oh, this is delightful. And I'll read a little bit of the booklet with you. <clears throat> Put all the pretties here. Oh, so lovely. Oh, these candles. I think my altar will be coming very pink and purple soon. I sense it. Give you a bit more of a view of what's happening. Sorry for the wobbly shake about. I can get better at this. Rosebuds. Oh, you're in the way. Very in the way. So, oh, I want to have a bath now. Wasn't really thinking about it, but I would love a bath. Lemon scented, catnip. Oh, I'm already creating a really beautiful picture, but I won't spoil it for you. Um, oh, yeah, I took all the stones out and such um let's have a read shall we um oh of course working with eros that is so so right welcome witch to this month's box of treasures for the moons of october yes this month the full uh pink moon brings the gifts to passion spring is well and truly in the air oh i may have read this bit already um 
filling the earth with their beauty and bounty, talk about flowers, and lending the moon its name, the pink moon. Animals everywhere are enacting their mating rituals, and so too the warming sun and beautiful days invite us, invite all of us um, out into nature to experience its pleasures. I have been feeling that so much. And I don't every season so much, but I have been feeling that so much. It's been glorious. So I was out all night because... Just saying yes to seeing friends and yes to bizarre conversations late into the night about philosophy and Marxism. It's wonderful. Um, la 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 la. What's it say? The month culminates in the fertility festival of Beltane. A time to hoist the maypole. New word. Um, adorn ourselves in our homes with flowers and greenery. Um, for Morris dancing and merrymaking and celebrating passion in all its forms. Morris dancing. It's such a British tradition. I was right. Of course, this moon is a celebration of sexual passion, but also one of other passions too. Allowing yourself to fully feel your emotions, embracing the things that excite you in life, um, is infinitely powerful. Discover and embrace what your passions truly are. Love this self love, appreciating your beauty. Folk Horse says collecting some dew on Beltane's morning and putting it on your face will increase your beauty and your allure to all. But as we um, all know, true love and passion comes through from within. Oh, lovely. This month it's time to find to find and fan the fires you have within you. You are beautiful and your passions are to be celebrated. Thank you for that affirmation. So 2nd of October is the last quarter of the moon. 9th of October is the new moon. 17th of October, very close to my birthday, is the first quarter. And 25th is the full moon, which is the pink moon. And the 31st is Beltane. All the things to look forward to. Mm, talking about you can communicate with your fellow Antipodean witch subscribers on a private Facebook. You can get their previous boxes. Okay, in this month's box, we have the Beltane Altar Maypole. Yep. <clears throat> um, there's a quintessential symbol of Beltane. Oh, I think it's very sexual. I think this one is very, like, sexual sim symbology, if I remember correctly. I wonder if they say anything about that. <clears throat> um... The maple has been used for centuries to act as a focal point for ritual and celebration. This handcrafted miniature version is the perfect altar adornment for the season. It comes complete with the pink tiny pot and some sacred Himalayan pink salt to plant in it. Oh, cool. So this is just Himalayan salt to plant in it. And then you put your maple in it. Oh, that's so darling. Tussi Musi Pomander. Okay, sorry I have butchered that. Also known as nosegay because the pleasant smells protect from many unpleasant street odors. These circular floral arrangements are a symbol of the season and a talisman for passion and romance. Totally. Oh, often given as a gift in Victorian times, utensiling using the language of flowers as part of courtship. Oh, I knew it. It so reminded me of like also weddings. People put things like this on my mum's arm, like when she was um, walking back down the aisle. Um, yours is made with everlasting silk flowers and adorned with ribbon. Add your favourite floral scent and hang this on your bedpost or at your door to welcome in passion and love. Oh, lovely. A rose quarter moon, uh, rose quartz, I should say, moon pendant. Carry the power of the pink moon and the healing properties of pink quartz wherever you go. Yes. Symbolizes the divine feminine. How it does. Spell capsule. A small capsule contains a tiny piece of parchment ready for you to inscribe. Encircled with a gold-toned ring, it's sealed into a capsule to lock in, in, to lock in an intention. We'll be using this in our ritual this month to focus and amplify our intentions. We have the Passion Sigil Affirmation, Hand Dip Spell Candles, yes, Cherry Blossom Incense, Cherry Blossom Incense Cones? I didn't know they were Cherry Blossom, didn't know there was such a thing. Ooh, Australian Native Herbs, I really appreciate that. Um, Witch's Key, in, an, in traditional workings, a key is a symbol of opening. Of course, I like, um, also you can work with Hecate. 
about that and like do help with like unblocking kind of um spells <clears throat> There's about new pathways, new opportunities. Oh, it's why people give you a key. Like when you turn 21 and stuff. Makes so much sense. Um, as a focal item for spell working related to passion, um, love and emotional healing, this key encourages us to open our hearts and souls to magic itself. Treasure this talisman and use it well. Hmm. We have passion bind rune gemstone. Yes. Bind runes are a combination of runes. The ritual language of the Vikings designed to focus a specific intent. Totally. Totally a rune. Of course. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, okay, cool. What is glass? This just... Oh, look. This glass gem has been hand-painted with a bind rune for passion. Use it as a focal point for ritual and meditation. And carry it with you for a little extra passion in whatever you're tackling for your day. Love it. It's really nice. I like the energy in this like lovely smooth glass piece. Lovely. Don't know like the properties of glass that much, but I think it would be such an amplifier. I think glass would be such an interesting amplifier. Um ba -ba -ba -ba. we have the Australian native herbs, catnip, rosebuds, raw rose quartz. Who's here? Someone's behind me. Oh Lily. Hello Lily. Carnelian, pink leopard jasper. Oh, I, I want to read about all of them, but that'll be for me a bit later. Ooh, they offer um, a prayer as part of this. They talk about how to use your miniature capsule. Oh, Lily really likes the box. Do you like it, Lily? <laughs> What's wrong, baby? Do you like the box? Mmm. <laughs> You're claiming it. Wow. You really are claiming this. Wow. <laughs> Lily doesn't really do this. You have... Do you have pink on your face? Or is it just because you're that pale? You look like she'd gotten like pink ink from this on her face, but I don't think so. Do you like that, Lily? Oh, wow. 